All right, today's video is going to be kind of short. This is something that just happened literally like 10, 15 minutes ago. I'm going through a box of records that I bought maybe about a month or two ago. I bought like a couple boxes, maybe about a thousand records in this lot, all on the sleeves, all in really good condition, uh, half reissue, half original label stuff. And I'd say I wound up putting in my collection about 75% of the records that are in there because there was just a lot of really cool stuff in there. A lot of local LA bands, things like that stuff that you, you don't find a whole lot of. Um, but I'm going through there and I mean, I'm, I'm basically putting like the cheap records in boxes. I'm gonna start putting them in my car when I go to car shows. When I'm not doing anything, I'm gonna set them out, see if I can get like a buck, between a buck and five bucks for some of these records. So I've been going through some of those records and since those records are all in good shape and there's a lot of like 70s and 80s country and stuff that People are going to recognize, not something I'd want to keep, but I came across a record that was actually a garage record from 1967, and I missed it the first time, and I know exactly why I missed it the first time, and I'm going to show you exactly why you've got to really pay attention to this stuff, because amongst all the Andy Williams, the Marty Robbins, the the Mel Tillis, all the common, you know, Rod Stewart records... There was this one. This is Knock Knock by the Humane Society. They were a garage band from Simi Valley, California. So a local LA area band. Uh, and it's it's and I'll tell you exactly why I missed it. And uh, it's the B side is why I missed it. So the B side is called Tiptoe Through the Tulips with Me. And any of you guys who know anything from that era know that that was also done by Tiny Tim. And the Tiny Tim version is extremely common and extremely worthless. So I think it was late at night. Maybe I was tired. I'd been, already been going through hundreds of records. I saw Tip Throw the, to the Tilts with me and went, gee, uh, I just went, oh, Tip Throw the Tilts with me. That's a common. I'll just throw it in that pile. And little did I realize it was actually a garage single by the Humane Society. And on Discogs, this bad boy sells for between $35 and $85. And this one's in really minty condition other than it has the hole drilled for the returns. Uh, so it's either a return or a promotional copy. But just goes to show you, when you're going through records, you got to be careful. Sometimes if you buy a record lot, you want to put them aside and go through them again later on because you never know what you missed. And, and uh, that's going to be my video for today. So be sure to like, subscribe. And also, I'm going to put a link to the actual song, uh, which is also on YouTube, so you can actually listen to the song. It's a really amazing song, and it gets really hard in, in spots, especially towards the end. So it's just an amazing garage song, so it's really easy to see why it sells for so much money. Um, yet it was never a massive hit. Maybe it was like an L.A. hit that got played on the radio or something like that. That's usually the case for a lot of these records. But until next time, I'll be seeing you.